Whenever I play solo, it seems like nobody wants to pick tanks. Not sure why a lot of players have this misconception that tanks are boring and cannot really do much in solo rank. Like I have said in my previous videos, I consider tank as the most important role in the game because a good tank will make everything so much easier for your team and a nightmare for your enemies. A good tank is a lot scarier than a good carry. And throughout this video, you will see that if you know how to play tanks the right way, then even the not so experienced marksman will have a chance to do well. This is my recommended build and emblem setup. As you saw from the thumbnail, I recommend building Dominance Eyes and Oracle for most of the tanks. Those two items are really good for tanks. Here you can see that no one in the enemy team have retribution. With our team composition, we can easily invade their buff, and that's what we agreed upon, or so I thought. At the start of the game, check if any support or tank is buying the mask. If not, then you can buy it, but if somebody decides to buy it right away, then wait until you kill one minion first, then purchase it. Kimi was supposed to be with me, caught in the lane, and then take their buff, but I guess she just completely forgot about it. Kind of similar when your mom tells you to do something, and you say yes, but you end up forgetting, until she brings the sandals. Right now we're having a manly 1v1, as long as I can lower his HP even just a little bit, it's a victory for me, because eventually Kimi will join the fight and we can kill him easily if he's not at full HP. Always try to use the first skill from as far as you can, because if you use it from a very close distance, the enemies can hear the sound effect very easily. Ok, seeing their bottom laner is dead, that gives me the freedom to farm the middle lane, and also nobody in my team is in the middle lane, so let's not waste all that farm and experience, because even tanks need the level and items, a weak tank cannot tank without items and levels. Remember, it's all about efficiency. Here I was pretty sure the enemies will try to gank the bottom lane. Just look at the map, there's nowhere else to go but the bottom lane. I thought my teammates were also aware of that, since I saw two of them also moving towards the bottom lane. Honestly, I could have easily escaped there with Flicker, but I wanted to make a very cool play with my ultimate for the highlights. Now I just want to constantly make cool plays for you guys. You want to be fast with your first skill, because if you wait too long, the enemies can hear the charge and they will just retreat. Basically when you are playing Kufra, or as a matter of fact, most of the tanks, you want to be hiding in a bush, you really need to help clear the wave, the carries can do that just fine. Cho and assassin players like to chase the carries nuts, so it's your job as a tank to pay very close attention to the map and protect your carries to the best of your abilities.
This display I try to pull early in the video. Lolita is also playing the bush game, very smart. If I was Ikimi, I would have tried to do a very cool play by blocking the bullet from my tank. But anyway, she was able to steal their blue buff, so it's not the worst trait. You have to quickly assess the situation and think if you can help your teammates while surviving at the same time. If there are no targets when you are charging your first kill, then you should cancel it, because when you do that, the cooldown is a lot shorter. Here, I heard Selena taking the crap, so I'm pinging for my Kimmy's assistance. Oh well. I saw that 3 enemies are in the top lane, now is the best chance to push the bottom lane. Oh well. I didn't want to go in because I know Cho will probably try to attack our backline, so it's a good idea to have one tank in the front, which is Hylos, and one in the back. Oh 
I saw Granger was still alive, so I thought there was a chance he would be in the bush. Currently, I have 20 kills participation out of 25. That's a good way to measure how much impact you are having on the game. I'm trying my best to provide as much vision as possible so the choke cannot ambush our carry. Because as you probably know, choke can easily kill any carry in a 1v1 situation. I understand how you feel Cho, I hate dealing against such annoying tanks as well. If you have a good tank player, assassin on fires will have a hard time against your carries. Right now we are creating a distraction and keeping a check on the enemy's heroes, so our marksman can take the lord without any problem. Oh well. If you have good defensive items, you can block Selena's stun, because even though you can see it, maybe your teammates don't have the quick reflex. You see here, instead of attacking the Lord, I'm constantly providing vision, so my team won't be surprised by an ambush. One of the most important tasks that I have seen a lot of tank players forget, even in high elo games. Here you can see I'm not committing, because I saw that our Harley has no ultimate. You can check that by looking at this square. If it's not green, that means they don't have the ultimate available. I have also seen a lot of tank players like to play like Rambo. They just constantly want to dive into the fight, without taking into consideration the ultimate's cooldown and how many of your teammates are actually ready to fight. You have to assess the situation and see if it's worth to fight such unnecessary team fights. When your team is pushing turrets, you can scare the enemies away by charging your first skill in their face.
I hope this video helped you understand the importance of a good tank players. So if nobody's willing to tank in your team, you probably can tank and still do insanely well. And like I said before, tanks are not the hardest heroes to play when it comes down to mechanic skills. If you follow my tips and tricks for tanks, you will definitely be able to master the tank role in no time. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe.